So today I'm going to do an experiment I've been wanting to do for a long time. Ever since I was sponsored by Coldest Water, I wanted to do an experiment and test, is it actually that good a product? I mean, if it was named something else, I wouldn't feel pressured to do this, but if you're going to name your product the coldest water, you've got to expect someone to check you out on that. So that's what we're doing today. We are getting to the bottom of it. Is coldest water bottles, are they actually the coldest? Let's find out today. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Coldest Water, but I'm a scientist and I'm going to follow the scientific method and just share with you whatever the results are. Every good scientific experiment has a hypothesis and then methods and we try and control as many variables as we can. So here is what I am going to be doing. First off, my hypothesis, I think that the coldest water does actually keep it the coldest. That's why I use the product, because I believe in it and I think it's good. But I also have other thermal insulated water bottles and I've got just a mason jar and I've got this one here that's already starting to sweat. So we, we know this cheap one over here is not gonna hold up. But I do have a hypothesis. I think that the coldest water is going to keep it the coldest just because I've used all these water bottles and that's my experience but I've never actually measured it with a thermometer, so we're going to see. The method that I'm using for this is that I have water in these jugs that are all poured out of the same exact sink at the same exact time. I can check the temperature on those, and you'll see that those are exactly the same. I've filled up all these water bottles to the same height with, with ice. So you can see the ice is actually filling all of them up. I was shaking them as I filled it up. I filled them from the same ice, from the same ice maker. They all have ice filled up to the top. Our water is sitting at 56 degrees, 56.4 degrees. I'm gonna fill up all of these water bottles to the same exact height, and we'll see what happens after 10 minutes, and then I'm going to check again after like seven or eight hours, and then I'll check again in the morning, so after 24 hours. Let's see what happens. So here we are at the, I, I decided to wait about 20 minutes. All right, here we go. It's about seven or eight hours later. been about 12 hours now. whole experiment is weird. There must be stuff in this water. Oh, you know what? This is well water, so it does have stuff. 
stuff that might keep it below 32 and not frozen. All right. Anyway, that's after about 12 hours. Good morning, 24 hours later. So it's been about 36 hours now. And 48 hours later. So there are the results of our experiment listed out here to show you which was the coldest water of all of these water bottles. We'd like to again thank our sponsor, Coldest Water, who has proven that they truly are the coldest water. I hope that was fun for you. Have a wonderful day.